And then their VPX retired about a year ago, and I'm like, I want it because I want to take this to the next stage. Talking uranium here today, I'm with Rebecca. Rebecca, great to have you on our show. How did you get into this industry? Very, very um, surprising. Well, I mean, I like earth science. I went to university without a plan. I mean, I've always liked rocks. I don't know. I think all kids usually like rocks, but anyways, I got in. I started doing earth science, and and where I grew up in kind of the potash belt of Saskatchewan, so I'm very familiar with mining, and and so I've always wanted to kind of be a part of that. Okay, and was it always clear that you would go into the uranium space? I mean, mining is one thing. We have very few women, also very few women in leadership positions. But then again, uranium plus you also kind of developed the project before you then brought it to the next stage with your CEO, Rick. I mean, Cameco, you know, I'm, is a big part of Saskatoon. So I did my undergrad with, uh, at the University of Saskatchewan. And so you, you get to see Cameco, you know, that it's a big company within Saskatoon. So, and they have jobs. And I originally wanted to stay in Saskatchewan. Right. And so it was just a natural fit right. to, to apply to Cameco. And so, you know, I was lucky to get on as a very junior geologist. I just finished my master's Hello. and and I wanted to, I didn't want to do any more academia at that part, which is kind of funny because then I did more later. But okay. at that point, I didn't. I was like, I want to make money and I want to find deposits. And so I joined their exploration department and that's kind of where that started. Okay, and um, what happened next? Well, early on, so we were building, it was just the start of the, the uranium boom that started about 20 years ago. Chemical started exploring everywhere in the world, and so I kind of joined them at that, that very beginning. And the Thelon Basin was one of, you know, an area that they had gone to in the 90s, and it was a, a big area they wanted to do in this, that latest boom. And so I've always loved the Arctic. I've always wanted, at that point, I'm like, I wanted to work in the tundra and just see that area of the world. And so I kind of almost kind of inserted myself into that. I'm like, I want to work up there. And, and so, and then started that. And then really early on, I was running the project. So I basically showed up one year and then the next year I was running it. And then I continued to run it um, until 2014. I totally understand where you're coming from. I had the opportunity to join an expedition to Greenland last year. And man, it's, it's just so different if you're in that vast space that landscape is just absolutely amazing mm -hmm. um, and then what happened next well then we had this great project and so we had this ability or I had a lot of leeway to kind of explore it kind of my way like you know like we're looking for the unconformity uranium deposit type but it's different everywhere you know you can kind of fit a model but you have to also be able to look outside the model a bit so we had this great land package and we had the potential for these types of deposits. So I, I really took it down to like first principles and kind of looked at, you know, Arano had, or they were Riva back then, they had some really good deposits. And I'm like, well, we have the same geology. So let's try to find, you know, that. Let's try to figure out those types of deposits. And so we had a very grassroots to kind of advance stage kind of exploration where we we looked at the geology like all the first principles like the geology you know the the geochemistry you know all the sort of stuff to kind of hone you into deposits and that's kind of approach we took looking at really early geophysics and so basically took that project from moose pasture you know nothing to two discoveries thanks for the turn station yeah <laughs> <laughs> So two discoveries within, you know, a, we started exploration kind of really boots on the ground in a big way in 2006. And we had our intercept of mineralization in 2009. So it took us three years to get to that stage. And then, and then the next, the following year, we hit in, at Tadiac, so a totally new zone. So I think it was just really good geology, a really good team. I also had a really great team back then, and, and we had a lot of success because we were very passionate about finding. And then at some point, Fukushima happened, mm -hmm. the whole uranium market just crashed. Yeah. Um, no more exploration, everything went into idle mode. Mm -hmm. So what did Rebecca do next? Well, that's where it, it goes back to the education thing. So then. I was like, I wasn't done. And you know, I was pretty sad. I wanted to explore there because I, I think, mm. you know, I'm there again. So obviously I think- You've got skin in the game. Yeah. 
So I convinced Canico to fund a PhD. So I took all that data, which was tons of data, tens of millions of dollars we spent up there. So I took that data and, and made it into a PhD. And I, and I wanted that PhD too to be very practical. Uh, I wanted it to actually, you to be able to read my thesis and be like, this is now how you explore this area, or at least the start. You know? So, and I, so I focused on the structural geology and the kind of the economic, very practical mm. economic geology, and so that you know when you know we started again, we could use that data to find more. And how did you start again? Where did Rick all of a sudden turn up from? <laughs> and then Rick, yeah. So, so how did that start? Well, Chemical, of course, let a lot of ground go. So. That happened after you know 2014 or 2016, so all mm -hmm. that land was open. And then Rick happened to be stalking the the government website around 2021 and realized it was open, and no one had staked it. And so he he grabbed it. Like he started, he got his land. Um, one of our people that does all the land acquisition to mm -hmm. stake it, and then he called me because he knew we knew each other from before because they were also exploring in the Thelon back in the last cycle, but to the east of us. So he called me and, and then I was, I was pretty excited and he's like, tell us where to stake. So they, they kind of staked the main areas, but then I'm like, well, so I got in there as a consultant and said, no, you gotta stake all this other stuff too. And so that's, and then their VPX retired about a year ago and I'm like, I want it because I want to take this to the next stage. Wow. Great inspiration and persistency <laughs> definitely paid off for you. And now we have this project and um, we're going to do a few more clips with Rick and with you mm. to talk about the details of the project. But today it's all about you, Rebecca, the person that made it happen. Um, fantastic story. And thanks to our cameraman, Frank, for helping us out today here in Zurich. Um, <laughs> looking forward to our other interviews, Rebecca. Thanks a lot, Arnie.